In this video, you'll explore methods for editing paths using a few different tools. So with the latest version of Illustrator CC open, you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. So you can see everything. Choose View, Fit All in Window. Now on the right is the final artwork, and on the left is what you will edit. So with the selection tool selected, click in the artboard on the left to make it active. Then choose View, Fit Artboard in Window. Now the first thing you'll edit is this blue trailer. It needs to be big enough to haul a second donut. So first things first, let's make sure smart guides are on so we can easily align content. And you can see the option over here in the properties panel. Then click the trailer to select it. So that you can select anchor points and move them around, press the letter A to select the direct selection tool. Click on this anchor to select it and pressing the shift key, click this one to select both. Drag one of them to the left to roughly here. Now to add or delete points, you can select the pen tool in the tools panel. You'll add a series of points to reshape the trailer. With the pointer over the path, you'll see a plus next to it. Click four times on the path up here in different places to add four points. With the pen tool, you can add or even delete anchor points from a selected path. Press Command on Mac OS or Control on Windows to temporarily select the Direct Selection tool. That way you can move points around. With the key held down, drag one of the points into position down here, then the other one. Smart Guides should show to help you keep them aligned with the anchor points on the right side of the trailer. Release the key, then press the letter V to select the Selection tool. And then drag this wheel over to the left. Once again, Smart Guides should help you keep it aligned. Click the shadow underneath and drag it from the corner to make it wider. Now to edit the car and make it a truck. You'll use a few different tools and options to edit the shape. So take your time with this section, even pausing the video if you need to. You'll start by adjusting the windows on the car. Click to select this window and press backspace or delete to remove it. Then click this window and drag it to the right, roughly here. To make it a little bit wider, drag this point to the left. Okay, click to select the car shape again. Now to zoom in to make it easier to see, press Command and Plus on Mac OS or Control and Plus on Windows a few times to zoom in. Then select the Direct Selection tool over there in the Tools panel so you can see the anchor points that make up the shape. Now the back of the truck needs to be square, so you'll edit these anchor points. Click to select this anchor point. You can see that it's curved and has direction handles. As a matter of fact, if you drag the end of one of these handles, you can see how it affects the path. Now to make it a corner, you can remove these direction handles. In the Properties panel on the right, click the Convert to Corner Point option to remove the handles. Now drag this anchor point to the left so you can align it with the point you just edited. Since this is already a corner, you can see that there are direction handles and they're split. Clicking that Convert to Corner Point option won't work. So press and hold down on the Pen tool and select the Anchor Point tool. Now this tool's job is to remove or add direction handles to a point. So click right on the point to remove the handles and you'll make it a corner. With this tool, you could easily drag handles out again, but we don't need to do that. I'll click to remove them again. Now to edit the remaining points, select the Curvature tool in the Tools panel. The Curvature tool lets you easily add, remove, or edit anchor points on a path without having to work with the direction handles. Now to make this part of the path a corner instead of being smooth, double-click the point to convert it to a corner point. That's just another way to convert anchor points from corner to curved and back. Then drag it right about here. Now to reshape the back of this car, move the pointer over the path here and click to add a point. Then drag it into position roughly down here. To make this point a corner, double click on it. Now to finish this part, drag this point down here. Let's simplify the front of the truck by removing a few anchor points. Click on this point and to remove it, press backspace or delete. This point also needs to be removed, so click on the point, 
and press Backspace or Delete. Same for this point. Click on the point and press Backspace or Delete to remove it. This point needs to be a corner and not curved. We're going to make it a truck, so we're going to make it a little more angular. So double click on this anchor point. Then to reshape the front a little bit, drag the anchor point into position here. We now have a truck. So you can see everything, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. There really are a lot of methods and tools you can use to edit paths you create in Illustrator. If you want to continue exploring, try editing the donut shapes up here. Maybe moving the anchor points on the pink icing to make the drip a little bit bigger. When you're finished, you can close this file by choosing File, Close, and Save a Fast.